hello, hello, welcome back to Keto Homestead with Jess. How is everybody doing? It is nice and toasty hot here in Ohio. We're getting all the things done. I'm trying to get up my uh, YouTube side of things. See who all pops in. And in the meantime, I'm just taking a little break from outside. I've been working all day. And I'm trying to upload these short videos that I uh, recorded for you guys. Hey Carl, good to see you. Hey Coco, good to see you. So what's going on tomorrow is I'm having my first ever plant sale and then I'll have my tinctures and salves and lotions and stuff like that for the sale so me and Barrett's been cleaning up the front yard putting up tables he put up a um what's that thing called uh gazebo thingy I don't know what it's called but anyways like a tent roof thing so that if it does rain it's calling for rain tomorrow it didn't call for rain all week and now it's calling for rain so I pray that we don't have rain but we have that covered if we do have rain if you're local stop by come see me it would be awesome hey tiger good to see you so I just figured I would come on here no I haven't got the pickles yet I haven't had time yet Coco but I am I'm planning on it I promise I'm actually gonna write it down and hopefully, I'll have some downtime. Hopefully tonight, I don't know. Hey, Christina, good to see you, girl. Um, I don't even know what I was saying now. Ah, my brain is everywhere. So we got the table set up. I've got all the gift bags ready for if I make any sales. I got a little a cute stamp a few weeks ago through the mail. It was a customized stamp that says, uh, follow me, Keto Homestead with Jess. So I stamped all the bags. So if anybody buys anything, they can take my logo home with them and hopefully follow me and subscribe. What else? Oh, I had to set up the um, pack and play for the chicks that I'll be selling. I'm on my phone, but I'm here for now. Thanks, Peanut. Appreciate it. I won't be on long. I'm just taking a break and trying to cool down from the heat outside. And I figured I'd come on here and pop up live for a moment while I'm trying to upload the videos I recorded. We'll see how that goes. I wanted to get a video out for you guys last night, but I just... I hit the bed. I was out. I couldn't do it anymore. I was so tired and exhausted from yesterday. I couldn't, couldn't do it. So let's see if I can get some of these videos uploaded. I actually been recording quite a bit. I don't know if it's going to allow me to upload these. My phone has fits every now and again. Oop, they did. It allowed me to upload. That's sweet. So now I just need to download them to my computer. I'm going, I'm going live again tomorrow week. Tomorrow week? What's that? You have me confused now, Carl. I mean, it's not hard to confuse me, but. <laughs> Let's see, what am I doing? I'm downloading. I need to go over here. Oh, it's not uploaded to my Facebook yet. If I do videos on my phone, I have to like download them to Facebook and then download them to my computer. And then it's just a pain in the butt. Friday the 19th. Okay, I gotta write that down or I will forget. What time? Friday, 19th at, I need a time, Carl, live. I will do my best 
to watch you. I don't know how that'll go, but I will try. And if I can't watch you, then 3 p.m. Okay. Um, if I can't watch you, I'll at least put you on the computer and play it. Or so you can have some views. But tomorrow, like I said, 9 a.m., is my plant cell my first ever plant cell so i don't know what it's going to turn out to be i hope it's super busy i've been posting all over social media i took my cute little flyers i thought i had one here but i don't took my cute little flyers that i made um i guess i do have one don't look at my address my little flyers i made and posted them all over the little country stores um, yesterday and today I hit a few places and then I made up my little street signs ones in place and then I'll put one up tomorrow in front of the house hey sunfish so good to see you and yeah so I'm just getting all the little stuff together so tomorrow I'm not rushing around like a chicken with my head cut off I know my desk is a mess please excuse it I have been going through all my seeds again and um, planning more stuff and it's just a mess it is what it is so yeah that's what I've been up to what are you guys up to are you doing anything fun are you enjoying this hot weather do you have hot weather what's going on I'm going crazy every time I walk in the house I hear chicks in the living room chicks in the bathroom chicks on the front porch it's peep 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 and they're driving me nuts yet planning madness right a hot mess around let's see if these downloaded yet okay I think they all downloaded if you hear me talking in this video just excuse me for a second okay where did they go I clicked on it okay here's one so we'll download that one down with that one. The volume's down good. So you can't hear me. <laughs> down with that one. I've got a bunch. And I look like a hot mess in these videos, you guys. Sorry. That's what happens when you work a lot. And you're sweaty and out in the sun. Too tired to do anything with yourself. Loving the rain. I got three, okay, I don't know how to say that. Is that supposed to say khaki ducklings? Or no, that's not khaki. I don't know what that's supposed to say. But you got three ducklings. That's awesome, sunfish. I know the date was wrong on my flyer. I was going to have um, the plant sell last weekend and then it started calling for rain and so I was like oh I'll just reprint the flyers and have it the following weekend well it ended up not raining last week I was so upset so if it rains this weekend I'm gonna be really upset <laughs> but like I said I have tried to get the word out to everybody I could think of I sent it through Facebook I sent everything on social media I've been posting flyers and signs everywhere so hopefully I'll have a turnout. I don't know. They're basically going to be basically growing, going to grow up being all black with the green tint to them. Oh, that's cool. Did you just, um, did you get them for any certain reason, Sunfish? For like the eggs or to process them for meat or just for leisure? You just want to watch them. I'll be right back. Give me just a second.
Okay, sorry about that. I had to go get a cold drink. Pets. Awesome. It's always fun to watch ducks or chickens. I enjoy watching them. They're basically... Oh, I already read that one. We had thunderstorms for two days. My second oldest son gets married in nine days time. Congratulations. That's exciting news. Here in Texas, we're getting rain every day for the last couple of days. Hit the like button, guys, or double click the dislike button. Thank you. I appreciate that. Hey, Sunfish, I forgot that you was in Texas. So, back in February, I had ordered um, some chicks, and I did a lot of research trying to find the best place and um, the most affordable for me to get chicks. And I actually just did a video. I downloaded it while I was talking to you guys. But it'll be on shortly. Sometime. I don't know when I'll post it. But I'll upload it one of these days. <laughs> Within the next week. But anyways, the um, place I got the chickens from, the baby chicks from, was in um, Texas. And I'm trying to remember where we're at in Texas. I don't remember. I said it in the video. But... They came all the way from Texas, and I ended up getting 15, I think, I got 15 of those, 15, 16, 17, I think 22 chickens, baby chicks I got from Texas, and they all made it through the post office and survived. I was so happy, and they were the most reasonable priced baby chicks online that I could find, so I was super excited, but that's funny. They came from you from Texas. <laughs> he said, heck yeah. It was funny too when I went to the post office to pick them up. They like, when you order chicks through the mail, you got to go to the post office and pick them up. And what they do is as soon as the chicks get there, they call you and let you know they're there. So I went in to pick up the chicks and like, there was quite a few. There's probably like 10 people in the post office when I went to pick them up and you could hear those baby chicks all the way in the back. You could hear her walking towards the front with the baby chicks. And everybody's like, oh, it's chicks. How sweet. It was funny. I've got a guy where I can get Rhode Island Reds for $2 a pop. That's good. That's really good. Um, chicks around here locally, like in the store. Um, I went into TSC today to post one of my flyers. They had guineas in there for $7.94, you guys. It was insane. Um, and that's a piece. And then they had all their baby chicks in there for like $5.49. Or $5.49. $5.49 was the baby chicks. And I'm like, that's insane. They were just last year like three something. laugh my ass off um but you can buy um baby chicks locally like backyard chicks that have like bread with other chickens and stuff pretty cheap but i personally wanted um some pure breads this time and i had been waiting years and years for these black jersey giants and i haven't been able to find them at affordable price they've always been super expensive so i've wanted to add these black jersey giants for years and i've just waited and waited for the right moment and this poultry company definitely um helped me out <laughs> but like i said i had to order them back in february too and i just got them what is today can't even keep track. I just got them yesterday. So yeah, super excited. We got six people watching. Awesome. I got eight thumbs up. Independent Mini. Good to see you. Hope all is well. So yeah, I just figured I'd pop in and do a quick live while I'm taking a break, cooling down. I got everything transplanted yesterday and today in the greenhouse. So I'm super happy about that. Everything's ready to go. All I have to do is carry everything out of the greenhouse and onto the table. So that's awesome. And I have like, I eat 
have everything else that I need, like my bags and my, I don't even know what you call it. It's like a calculator that prints up receipts. I've got that on the kitchen table with my little money box with a lock on it. So that's on the kitchen table. So when I wake up, I just have to carry that stuff out and basically I'm ready to go. I'm trying leg horns with this newer batch of chicks that I got. I don't, I've never had leg horns. Um, I did try to purchase leg horns one time and I got really upset and I never tried to purchase them again, but it was either TSC or Rural King. I can't remember back then what I, where I purchased them from, but they were supposed to be leg horns and they ended up being corner shocks and I can't stand corner shocks. I think they're the nastiest, stinkiest, dirtiest chicken there is. <laughs> So I was like, forget that. I'm never trying to get leg horns again. If TSC and Rural King don't know what they're selling, I don't want to buy from them. Because <laughs> you get, it's happened several times to me. You know, they say you're you're purchasing one type of chick and you end up, it grows up and it's completely different, not what you wanted. So <laughs> I try not to purchase any birds from them anymore. <laughs> but then I am a woman. Oh, men do it too. I walk in and I see the baby chicks. I'm like, oh. And every once in a while, they'll get me. I'm fixing to harvest herbs and three tomatoes soon. That's so exciting. It's not even close. We haven't even hit our last frost date yet, sunfish. I'm not even close to getting a tomato yet. <laughs> my the I have herbs ready though. I could be harvesting my um, lemon balm and my parsley. I think that's the only thing that's like, oh, and my mints. My mints are flourishing too. I could be harvesting that stuff, but I'm not. I've got too much going on right at the moment. I'll probably harvest some tomorrow morning for sale. And then I'll probably harvest some of my rhubarb as well for sale tomorrow. We'll see. I don't know. I don't even know. Like, I try to look up rhubarb to see how much it's going for. And people are charging like $5 for like three stems of rhubarb. And I thought that was kind of spendy. Peanut says I'm on the computer. But I don't know. I don't know what rhubarb is going for. What herbs are you uh, harvesting, sunfish? I'm just curious. Sorry, I had to turn the camera off for a minute because I'm getting distracted. I'm trying to transfer these files over to my DaVinci file. I keep my mint plants year round in the greenhouse. That's funny because this year, usually I plant my mint in the ground. And this year I put it all in pots so that I can do the same. If you guys haven't noticed, I'm like a huge multitasker. to get everything done um, that I can get done at once when it comes to computer work or lives or whatever. Oh. And I don't think all my downloads came through. Hmm. One, 
two, three, four, five. Sorry. Laugh my ass off the devil's lettuce. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's called triple cake. It's wedding cake, pancake, and pancake mix. Pound cake takes the pancake out of there. <laughs> Oh, they didn't like it when I turned the camera off. Everybody bounced. Well, some fists didn't bounce, but everybody else bounced. Is that better? You can look at the side of my head while I'm editing. Well, not editing, but trying to download this. I don't want that one. I gotta remove it. Remove. happened to my other clip. Save this file. I know, confusing. It was confusing. You got me lost there. Now it says I got four watching again. So I guess I better keep my camera on. <laughs> anybody is watching me locally come visit me tomorrow It'll be super exciting meeting you in person and I almost ran out of all my sh um, I stream through StreamYard and you're only allotted so much a month and because I did the um <laughs> room Tim, I will. I will love to see you tomorrow, Room Tim. Um, I forget what I was talking about. You freaking got me lost. Ugh. I don't know. Doing too much at once, I guess. Oh, Coco says, I'm still here. Well, I'm glad you're still here. My StreamYard and my um, YouTube are not, like, linking up. Oh, that's what I was talking about. StreamYard. I almost used up all my minutes on StreamYard doing the um, baby chick hatch. Or, uh, yeah, the chick cam. I almost used up all my StreamYard. So, I got to be careful because if you don't know, I have a stream coming up Friday for Friday Mixer. It's music, uh, music night. So I can't use up all my stream yard minutes on chick cam. And then Monday, I'll have my uh, Monday night reset. Hey, Dragon, good to see you. Hey, Steve. Steve came in, too. Y'all are popping in, sneaking in on me. I was just telling everybody I'm having my first plant sale ever tomorrow. I'm taking a break from being outside. It's super hot. I figured I'd do a pop-up live real quick and do some downloads at the same time. I was trying to get videos out to you all last night, but I, I was too tired. I straight passed out. I couldn't get it done. Okay, we're going to save this project. Save. Alright, so all my videos are downloaded now. I just have to put them all together. Because I did them on my phone. So they're like clip here and clip here. So I have to put them all together on DaVinci. And then be able to upload them to YouTube. 
so at least one step is done they are downloaded so four o'clock I'll have to start dinner I've got some cabbage fry uh, well I've got cabbage in the crock pot with a stick of butter and then at four o'clock I gotta fry up some sausage to throw in there and our dinner will be done and then after we eat I gotta get back outside I got everything is transplanted in the greenhouse but me and Barrett have a few things to plant in the garden yet I've got to plant shallots onions and Barrett decided he wanted to try peanuts this year so he's growing peanuts so we also have to plant those we're gonna see how that goes we tried it probably five years ago um, and I don't even know like I don't think we got any peanuts I don't even know remember what happened but we did plant <laughs> We're going to try it again this year. Barrett's been on a peanut kick. He's going through peanuts like crazy eating them. Just pay the 20 bucks. Did you get rid of that Apple phone yet? No, I love my Apple phone. Except for I don't like the fact that it won't connect to my computer. I love my Apple phone. I'll never give it up. That Apple phone's like so old too. I guess it's not too old. It's a it's a S10, I think. It's a 10 for sure. But I love my Apple phone. It's not like not connected to service or anything, but I like using it to edit and um, stuff on uh, TikTok. It's really easy to use on TikTok. I just can't connect it to my dang computer. Oh, that's what it was. Remington says the weeds took over the peanuts when we planted them last time. It's funny. All these pop-up lives and chick cam lives. I haven't even um, made a thumbnail for all these. I need to go through and make thumbnails for all these lives that I've done. They look silly. Just popped up on the channel with my face. I've got awkward looking poses <laughs> while I'm talking. Oh well. One day I'll get around to it. <clears throat> hey Giggs, good to see you. How many chicks? Actually you guys, it was crazy. So I went to bed last night and six chicks were in the incubator i woke up this morning i walked through the kitchen and all i heard was peep 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 i'm like what in the world i lifted that lid up there was 15 chickens 15 baby chicks that hash i was like my atlanta <laughs> and then <clears throat> about an hour ago i checked and i was up to 19. so there may be even more in there i don't know but my little incubator. I love that thing. It's awesome. I would like to get a second one, but they raised the prices up on the incubators sky high this year. I went and checked on the prices and it was like $97 for the same incubator I got for like $50 three years ago. I upgraded to this um, incubator because it was... Um, It was forced air and it had an egg turner in it and it was like 50 bucks and now that same one <clears throat> is like $97 without the egg turner I'm like what in the world and I was just hatching out so many eggs and I had a still aired incubator it was my very first one I got 10 years ago and it didn't have an um, a tray to it and you can't even add a tray to it it's just a basic incubator and I was hatching out so many eggs and having to turn them all by hand twice a day. It was just becoming a pain in the butt. So I upgraded three years ago to a forced air with the egg turner. And it's, it's awesome. It's worked great for me. Okay, bye everyone. Got to get back to work. Have fun. Be nice, dragon. All right, Rum Tim. I'll see you here in a few minutes.
Yeah, iPhones are t tattletales. What? Have a great day, Rim Tim. I'm always nice. Laugh out loud. <laughs> I think I got burnt today. My face is on fire, my chest, my arms. <laughs> I look pretty red on this screen too. I guess it's making my eyes pop today though. They record everything. Well, that's great. Google is the worst. What do I use? <clears throat> I don't even know what I use. Safari. I use Safari on my iPhone. I don't know if that makes a difference or not, but. You look, okay, er. Oh, you look pretty every day. Oh, thank you, Steve. That's not the truth, but thank you. You should have seen me yesterday. You will when that video posts. I look like a hot mess. All my gray hair sticking out like this. All frizzy. <laughs> I didn't even care. I was so exhausted. To each his own. Jess, that is just an excuse to have a certain Barrett rub aloe vera all over you. Boom, chick, boom, boom. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, you do look good. Thanks, gigs. When the sun goes down, I'm going to be super burnt. Did you guys know that? Like, when the sun goes down, even if you're, like, really burnt, it seems like when the sun goes down, you get even redder and burnt even more. And when I was looking in, I have a bunch of aloe plants out in the greenhouse. <coughs> I've always had aloe plants. But I was researching, like, the aloe vera gel that they sell in the um, stores and stuff. And I always remember, like, when I was young, my aunt or my mom would, like, put aloe vera on me. <clears throat> and it always burned and stung, like, really bad. I don't know. Last year, I started researching it. And they actually put alcohol in the aloe vera. No wonder it burns. How the heck's that supposed to see you? I ain't even comb my gray hair today. <laughs> I was bad last night. Usually I'm really good about this, but we worked so hard yesterday. I was so exhausted. I didn't even take my shower. I just straight passed out. I hit that bed. I was out cold. Barrett was out cold too. Barrett gets up usually in the middle of the night like two or three times. He didn't even budge all night. He slept through the night. I couldn't believe it. And he, he's been doing good. He's been getting up super early too. Um, for him anyway. I always get up at like 5, 5.30 but he's been getting up anywhere between 8 and 9 and that's like a miracle. He used to get up at like 12, 1, 2 o'clock. So it's been nice. We've been getting a lot accomplished, a lot done. After you shower too, it comes out more of the burn. Yes! I think I'm going to start school again. I want to be a web designer. Sign me up! <laughs> That would be awesome, Steve. Did you get your computers and everything straightened up? Is everything running properly now?
Steve has an awesome setup. But his computers have crashed like two times, two or three times since I've known him. You're not too old. You're never too old. Never too old to learn new stuff. For that, yes, I did. Awesome. See, even Gizg says, not too old. I'm gonna go for a hundred terabytes on my computer. I'm not good with that stuff, Steve. I don't know what that means. I know like kind of what terabytes are, but I know the more you have the better it is. I'm at 68 terabytes now. So that's quite a bit. Does that just like mean more storage or means your computer will run faster or I'm not that smart when it comes to like the technical stuff of computers. Hey Jess44, welcome back. Good to see you. Glad you came back. I just am um, doing a quick pop-up. I was taking a break from working outside and I figured I'd come on and chat for a little bit. I um have a time limit. I'll be on here until four and then I need to go cook up some sausage and throw it in with our cabbage, eat, and then get back outside and, and work again. That's awesome. I knew an 86 year old that graduated college was her earliest dream. That's awesome. It's a lot of space to save on. Oh, okay. Each terabyte is a thousand GB. Gigabytes. Each terabyte is a thousand gigabytes. Okay. Nice to see you again as well. I'm having a plant sale tomorrow, and I've just been setting that up today. Barrett's been helping do that and clean up the yard and make space for people to be able to park. We hung signs and hung posters, so we're just getting ready for this plant sale tomorrow. And it got too hot outside, so I came in for a break. But I have everything organized and ready to go. So when I wake up, I just have to walk out the door and carry stuff and I'll be ready. I won't have to run around trying to look for things. <laughs> Aren't like the people that are nuts like the smartest though, Steve? Isn't that like the saying? Use it straight from the plant. Should be fine, right? I think that's why it got me wondering because when you use it straight from the plant it doesn't burn or anything and when you use the store-bought stuff it burns the crap out of you just one terabyte of data is over 20,000 full pages a court document if that helps put it into reference that's crazy so speaking of which dragon 
because like the clerk courts and stuff have so many caseloads and stuff like how do their computers not crash because they have got like thousands and thousands of documents and people and I'm sure the judges information and stuff in their computer system I wonder how they keep their computers from crashing they must have like mass amounts of terabytes Miss Jess, I have 1,600 movies, 8 TV series, and a whole bunch of music and music videos. Music and music videos on 32 terabytes. Wow. I can't even tell you if I even have a terabyte. <laughs> Compared to the brains of the computer stuff. Now when it comes to like social medias and apps and things like that, I can do all that. He can't do that, but he knows how to do the brains of the computer. And thank goodness if he doesn't, I have Steve or Dragon or somebody on here helping me. I won't be happy till I hit the hundred. And what happens when you hit the hundred? Will you be content? Can you get more after a hundred? Or will you want more? Just curious. Jess44 says, I don't know anything about technology. <laughs> I'm not very good with it either, Jess. Just don't feel bad. That's why you make many friends. <laughs> they can help you. Freaking. You know what Barrett did one day? I was so mad at him. He was playing that um, World of Tanks. You guys remember when he was playing World of Tanks all the time? He was playing that and he was trying, I guess you can get on like Discord while you're playing. I don't know how that stuff works. Discord, now that's a whole nother level. I can't do Discord. But I guess you can connect the Discord to the World of Tanks or whatever. And then you can like put your headset on and speaker and you can like talk to the guys on the game while you're playing. Well, for some reason, Barrett's, like, headset and speaker thingy, microphone or whatever, wasn't connecting. So, we could hear the guys talking and playing, but they couldn't hear him talking. So, he was trying to figure that out, and he asked several people for help, and they tried to help, and they couldn't. And this guy on World of Tanks, he was like, oh, he's like, I can do it for you. Just give me permission um, to have control of your computer. And he's like, I'll help you out. And I'm like, oh, that's a bad idea. Don't do it. It's a bad idea. I don't like this idea. Well, Bear's like, I'm not going to figure it out, so I'm going to just let him do it. He did. He let that guy have control of his computer. And he freaking wiped Barrett's whole computer out. I don't know what he did to Barrett's computer, but he messed it up good. I really wish you guys would get Plex going. I don't know what Plex is. Remind me, what is Plex? I'm hoping I will get 100 before I'm dead. I'm sure you will, Steve. You don't need Discord for that. I don't know. When it comes to the games and stuff like that, I'm not savvy at all with that stuff. Just tell him to go into settings. He did. He went into settings in the game, on the computer, everything. Yeah, it was definitely a bad idea, Jess, 44. Thank God he didn't have anything important. The only thing he does on his computer is play games, so there was nothing important on there, thank God. 
flax is like net um i think you had me look that up before didn't you steve Probably reset the BIOS. Yeah, should never let anyone do a remote link unless you know them or they work for a bonded company, right? I thought it was a super bad idea, and I was right. I'm, I felt really bad that I was right, but I just had this gut feeling that he shouldn't do it. And I felt really bad because they did. They, they, like, cleared his whole computer. Hey, Suburban Hillbilly, good to see you. Thanks for coming in. We're just chit-chatting for a minute. Actually, it is 4.03. I need to head off, you guys. I gotta go finish dinner so we can eat and get back to work. I've got things left to plant in the garden. I think we're all set up for setting up the plant cell tomorrow. So that's good to go, except for the stuff I have to take out tomorrow. But everything's set up and I believe ready to go. Now I just gotta work on my garden and get our dinner in our bellies. Ooh, potato salad, that sounds good. Steve says, wait, what? <laughs> Scoreboard Barrett three, Jess. What does that mean? Looks like Barrett is winning. <laughs> I'll send you a program to fix this computer. It's alright, Steve. He don't need it fixed right now. You can send it to me. That's fine. But I don't think he's going to fix it anytime soon because he's um, a little addicted to games on his computer. <laughs> He has problems when it comes to games. Once he starts, he can't stop. And he gets mad. He gets really mad when I tell him it's time to quit playing with his friends. <laughs> that was a scoreboard of I told you so laugh my ass off. <laughs> Alright, I get it. I told you, I can be dingy at times. If he has all his files and apps, he will get it back to normal. I don't even know if he has all the files and apps, Steve. Honestly, I think they wiped it clean. I don't know. We haven't talked about it in a while. He hasn't been on his computer in like three months now. He hasn't even turned it on. The only reason I knew it was a bad idea is because um, my sister in Montana and her husband, well, it's his, her ex-husband now, but they were married at the time. He was like a computer whiz, and when I'd ever have issues or anything, I'd let him take control of my computer, and he'd do all kinds of stuff, and I'd sit here and watch him like, what in the world? So I knew what the capability of somebody getting into your computer could do, and that's what scared me about it. He will probably want to wipe it and reformat the hard drive before he uses it. Probably. Okay, Steve. That's cool. Come winter time, he'll probably be back on it. And the cool thing about it is though even though he's like not on his phone or not on his computer playing the games with the guys he can still get on the game 
somehow on his phone. I don't know how that all works. But he can get on, like, the chat of the game and still talk to his friends. So that's cool. I'm glad he didn't lose, like, his friendships and stuff. And he does. He talks to him, like, once or twice a week. And actually, one of his uh, teammates or his friends on there, I don't ever remember his name. I'm sorry if you're watching, but he does follow me and he is subscribed on Facebook. He just doesn't comment a lot. And he actually does keto too. No, no, don't do that. Don't do what? What am I not doing? I don't know what I'm not doing, Steve. Oh, don't wipe, reformat, and hard drive. Oh, I don't know. He can figure it out later. Steve, it would be a protection against any Trojans. The guy may have dropped into Barrett's computer. <laughs> See, I don't know. I'm not tech savvy like that. Alright, you guys. For real, though, I gotta get off here. I gotta go get this supper done and get back outside before it gets dark. It's already 4.09. All right, we will look into it and we will take all of your guys' advice into consideration. I want to thank you so much for hanging out with me during this quick pop-up live. I hope I see you all on Friday. Keep your eyes out for the videos I'll be downloading. And until next time, stay happy, healthy, and safe. I love you all. Bye.